Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm hanging out at SeaWorld San Diego to check out the park, have some fun. Of course, their holiday festivities have officially kicked off, so we're going to check that out as well. So how about you and I? Dive right in. And with Bam, we're back at SeaWorld San Diego to have a really fun day today. They've kicked off their holiday celebration, so of course we're going to check out some of those goodies and just, again, have a really fun day in the park. It is a beautiful SoCal San Diego day. And joining me on today's festive journey, my friend Cole. You guys remember him from the last SeaWorld video we did here, I think. Or no, not the last one, but the one before that. I think you were in that one. And so. Not Scary Farm. Not Scary Farm. Yeah, you, you remember Cole. Uh, but we're gonna head over towards Emperor first because Cole has never been on Emperor or Electric Eel. Or Electric Eel. Yeah, so we have to do both of those. So let's just head through the, the tunnel of cheer over here because yeah, that's what it's called, right? During the holidays? <laughs> Not while it's off. Well, it's still <laughs> cheerful. Because I think during Halloween, it's like the tunnel of terror. Ooh. And now it's the tunnel of cheer because at night at, they obviously light all this up and it's all festive and fun. Now the holiday celebration here at SeaWorld San Diego runs now through January 8th and some of the entertainment offerings are on select days like the fireworks so just keep that in mind. Definitely check out the daily schedule and you'll be able to check out all of the uh, festive goodies, especially on the weekends. A lot, on the weekends you're probably going to see a lot of uh, the bigger entertainment offerings. Oh there she goes. Coley a little nervous. Uh, Have you ever been on a dive coaster before? Time, right? No? no, that one. Well, we could say that one counts, I guess. The coaster community would uh, definitely argue that, but this is a true dive coaster. Got off Emperor Cole, what'd you think? I live. <laughs> you survived. And I liked it. Yeah, it was, that was good. A that was a lot. It's a yeah, it's a very good roller coaster. If you've never been on it before, I highly recommend it. And now Cole uh, highly recommends yeah. it as well. It was super, super smooth. Oh yeah, really smooth. And it's just in, just as intense as you'd want it to be. It's not like too out of control. Yeah. It's perfect. And now since we're not that far from Electric Eel, we're gonna hit up that one next. And look at this, there's barely a line for the attraction. I think right behind Manta, this one is my second favorite in the park. I mean, all the coasters in the park are so much fun, but I love a good launch roller coaster. And these Skyrocket coasters by Premier Rides are just so much fun. Oh, there it goes. And if you sit in certain seats, you get some really good air time. And now, uh, here we go. All right, Cole, what'd you think of that one? <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> it was, it's great, huh? It's such a good ride. Especially when you get to the top, that um, that airtime that you get coming over the hill is is so good. Uh, that, was, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun on those coasters, but now we're heading over towards the Penguin Encounter because they have some decorations and of course some entertainment and food and whatnot over in this area. But look at this, they have these all set up, so at night I'm sure these look gorgeous. And this is also where they have all the Rankin and Bass characters from those classics you all remember. Yeah. 
And along with the festive entertainment, of course, they have some festive treats and we're gonna get the Merry and Bright cocktail and give that a try. And this festive cocktail has vodka, Midori melon liqueur, pineapple, apple puree, and lemon juice. Ooh, look at that, and it comes in a really nice cup and it even lights up at night too. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's edible glitter in it, so it, it like shines. And Cole got the most festive drink. Mm. Yes, Tiki, Tiki Rum Mai Tai. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the Cutwaters though. Local here in San Diego. All right, let's give this a shot. That's good. Can't really taste, whoa, the Christmas music. <laughs> you can't really taste the alcohol though, so I don't know if that's like a dangerous thing or they just didn't put a lot of alcohol in this. It just tastes like a, I don't know, just like a citrus drink. It's good, It's but I don't know. I would have poured like another shot of vodka in there or something. It's good, but it, yeah, I don't know if I'd, uh, yeah, the, the cut water is pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty, Cole's turn. Yeah, I just think it leans like a little bit more vodka, but other than that, I think the other juices are fine. The apple tastes good. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it just tastes like juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's a nice juice cocktail. But I mean, if you want a little bit more of a kick, definitely go for the cut waters. They also had some really good local beers too available. Alrighty, we've made it to the front of the park because we're gonna do a Mrs. Claus cavalcade here in just a few minutes. So yeah, let's check that out next. Oh my goodness, it's a reindeer. The reindeer aren't flying right now, they're on break. Continuing our journey around the park, here comes Manta. I'll have to go on that in a little bit. Such a fun coaster. And opening next year is SeaWorld's newest roller coaster. It's another launch coaster similar to Manta. It's called Arctic Rescue. So really looking forward to that one as well. Oh, look at this. We've made it over here to the Tide Pool and it looks like Tidal Twister's back open for the longest time. This attraction was closed. I've never been on this ride and maybe if we have time, we'll give it a ride today. Oh yeah, this is definitely uh, my first time seeing this run in person. All right, I wanted to come over here to Shipwreck Rapids to see if this waterfall is on. It sounds like it is. OMG, that thing is on. It is not warm today, that is for sure. Oh my goodness, whoever is uh, especially getting this section is completely annihilated. Oh, look at this, the giant Christmas bulbs. These are the actual size of the bulbs I put on my house. Oh, and look at this, here are the reindeer. Yeah, they're on break right now. They're not flying. Wow, it's, it's snowing. Mother Nature does wonderful things, you know. It's blue skies, but you know what? We can still get snow here in SoCal. It's because of all the magic coal. We're near, we're next to the magic reindeer. Very magic. Yeah. That one's just eating the structure. <laughs> this one's so disappointed in that one eating the canopy that it's just looking this way. Like, I just can't believe you're doing that in front of all these people. Oh, look at this, a bird. Or was it a plane? Or it was Superman. Superman. <laughs> but no, look at this, they've lit the tree, the giant 200 foot tall tree. It's in the center of the park. It's gonna look better in the evening. Oh my goodness, the birds are getting crazy. That, that one was really close. I don't have any treats. And it wouldn't be the holidays without some presents. Look at all of these goodies with the classic light up uh, Christmas lights that go around your neck. And then we have, what else? We got some package pickups. Oh yeah, we got picture frames, plush. Oh look, there's a little uh, reindeer. That's the, that's is that, the thing that they gave me as Yeah, during the, our media event the other day, they gave us a, a little reindeer plush and I think I got a penguin. That's super cute. Let's see what else I got. Oh, they got more necklaces. They got snowflakes. These are nice. Oh, and look at these, like these giant plush. Oh, that's cute, cupcakes. This is a cupcake. We got a cupcake for $29.99. And we got Santa over here. Oh yeah, and even a snowman. And oh, Mrs. Claus. Claus, perfect. Oh, these are the ones you need to get are the jumbo lights. And look at this, we've made it into the Explorer's Reef Cafe and oh my goodness, look at all of the goodies they have in here. Wow, fabulous. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
Exactly. Yeah, they have a lot of really good things for your house. And of course they have some beautiful ornaments you can pick up as well. Oh wow, look at all the nutcrackers. Oh, I love the classic Santa look. And since we're in the Explorers Reef Cafe, I decided to get the spiked hot chocolate. You can add a shot of Bailey's, Frangelica, or something else. There was one other uh, type of liqueur you can add into the hot chocolate, so let's give it a try. Oh yeah, so yummy. I think I like this drink better than the drink that we had earlier. The other drink is refreshing, but um, yeah, no, for, for that kind of price, I wish I had a little bit more alcohol in it and it didn't just taste like a, a fruit punch. But you know what, I think I like this better because I feel like a hot chocolate is like the perfect thing to drink on a nice holiday evening like tonight. And Cole, what did you get? It looks like a Christmas cookie. A Christmas cookie. Ooh, and what kind of drink did you get? Uh, uh, hazelnut liquor something. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> right, Cole's gonna give it a try. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's like Nutella. Oh really? Oh, yeah. That's oh really dang. Good. That sounds so yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I think so good. these drinks are better than the uh, drink that we got earlier. This is more in the holiday this spirit. Is like more, yeah. This, this is, is more Christmassy. More Christmas. Yeah, so go for the hot chocolate here in Explor Explorers Reef Cafe. They also have like regular hot chocolate if you don't want to put the alcohol in it, but we like to be a little bit more uh, crazy. Yeah. This cost ten dollars. Yeah, this was ten ten bucks. This was five. That one was five and for the it smaller. Has two shots of booze in it, just like his. Oh, so mine was just big more because of the 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 volume. Well, you know what? That's okay. I'm now broke. Now that we've finished up with the Explorers Reef Cafe, we're gonna take a lap around the park and enjoy the holiday lights around the property and my oh my look at this beautiful sunset and the reflection bouncing off of electric eels track that looks gorgeous oh cole be careful don't slip on the snowflakes don't slip don't slip whoa whoa Ooh, look at over here these archways that i pointed out earlier all lit up and so are the bushes i love the led white lights they're so cool yeah, i also so love pretty. the uh multicolor led uh, lights as well yeah and cole and i were just talking about how like the lights look so vivid because they're all LED, so they're extremely bright. You gotta put some sunglasses on over here. Oh, here we go. Here's some of the multicolored lights in the bushes. I love it. Yeah, again, everything is so bright. It's funny, this tree right here, in person it's blue, but on camera it has like more of a purplish oh, tint to weird. it. Yeah. Wow, look at how bright this green. This is, they don't need the lamps. Just turn those off. You'll be able to see the pathway fine. Wow, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, the Christmas lights are absolutely gorgeous, but my goodness, the sunset is stunning this evening. I mean, it, I love it. And of course the lights are just adding to the experience. Oh, look at these beautiful candy canes. These are cool. Oh yeah, the giant tree looks way better in the evening. Man, I can only imagine how difficult it is to get the star at the top of that thing. Ooh, we got some more wrapped trees. I love these. And look at this over by the Orca Stadium. They have all these beautiful trees wrapped as well. We got the purple, the blue, and the white. Super pretty. And of course, we got the beautiful tree in the background. Well, you know what? I think that's going to do it for today's video from SeaWorld San Diego. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos and more, not just from SeaWorld, but from a bunch of your other favorite theme parks, consider subscribing because I have a brand new video every single week. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description. Be sure to check that out because I post there all the time and it's a lot of stuff that I don't normally post here on the channel. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.